Hello and welcome to T Academy. In today's lecture, we'll continue our discussion on switching loss in a buck converter. So this is part two of my lecture on switching losses in buck converter. We already saw in the previous lecture the waveforms for the voltage and current across the switch during a transition from off state to on state. So when the switch in a buck converter closes, the voltage across the switch goes from VDC to zero in a switching period of T switch and the current across the transistor goes from zero to the full load current. So if this is the load current I naught. So the current goes from zero to I naught in the same switching period. And also we derived expressions for the instantaneous values of the current and voltage and we saw that the AC power loss during this switching transition is given by this expression here. We have to find the area under the curve in this switching period. So this area under the curve is given by this expression here P of T is equal to 1 over T where T is the complete period integral 0 to t on which is the switching period v of t times i of t. So in today's lecture we will be computing this expression in order to see what the AC power loss comes out to be. So substituting the values of v of t and i of t in this expression we get 1 over t integral 0 to t on i naught t over t on times minus vdc over t on times t plus vdc. Now expanding this further we can write this as 1 over t integral 0 to t on minus vdc i naught times t square over t on square. Since integration is a linear function, it is also commutative. So I can take this integral inside. So 0 to t on i naught times vdc times t over t on. And then we choose a dummy variable d tau in order to perform this integration. So if we perform the integration, this would come out as t cube over 3 t on square and the limits 0 to t on plus i naught times vdc times t square over 2 t on and the limits are again 0 to capital T on. So since the lower limit is 0, we can simply put in T on in place of small t and get the expression as minus VDC I naught times T on cube over 3 T on square plus I naught times VDC times T on square over 2 times t on. So these cancel here minus vdc i naught t on plus half i naught vdc over 2. This expression can be further simplified as by taking the LCM minus 2 vdc i naught times capital T on plus 3 times vdc times i naught times capital T on divided by 6 and this gives the total power loss as 1 by 6 VDC times I naught times capital T on over T. Now this expression is giving the AC power loss during one switching transition from off to on. 
like this here. There will be a similar transition when the transistor is going from the on state to the off state. In this case, the current will already be equal to I0 and it will transition from I0 to 0 in a time period T switch and the voltage will go from 0 to V0. If this is taken as an arbitrary starting point of 0, then this time period will be T, capital T, off. So a complete switching cycle will include transition from off to on as well as from on to off. Therefore, we can simply add in the total AC switching loss, we will add this term again, VDC T on over T plus one by six VDC I naught times T off over T. An assumption we can make is that T on is equal to T off is equal to the switching transition period TSW. So if I substitute this in these expressions, I can get the total AC switching loss as 1 by 3 VDC I0 T switch over T. So this gives the expression of the total AC power loss during one cycle of operation. So we already saw the efficiency of a buck converter taking into account only the conduction losses. You can see this video if you haven't seen yet. In the next lecture, we'll see how the efficiency changes when we also take into account the AC switching losses, which we have derived here. So see you in the next lecture. Bye.